Hey guys, this is Spencer. I just wanted to give you an introduction to myself and the van before you see the video. So the background is I'm an electrical engineer. I started this project with my partner two years ago and things have changed since then. We wanted to build a fully remote work-in off-grid vehicle um, to do some overlanding. Um, I got a job and so we didn't have time to do that. And now in the past year, we've decided to move to Japan. And she's half Japanese, so you'll see a lot of the design aesthetic is Japanese inspired with the, the white walls, clean lines, natural wood, tatami mats, Japanese futon. Um, so that's pretty makes this build pretty unique, I think, and we stuck with that theme and carried it through and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, so it's fully ready to, to go off-grid for work remote. It has a WeBoost antenna for cell signal. It has a pretty big battery system, um, induction stove, shower. And I haven't really got to live in it fully since I finished it. I just spent the past six months finishing finishing all the systems, testing them out, and, and, um, and whatnot. So I hope you enjoy the van tour. And, let me know if you have any questions. Welcome to the tour. All right, so first thing you know is it's the hardwood floors. It's reclaimed wood from a farm in North Carolina. Um, went with a the theme of like a Japanese farmhouse. Um, got a, you know, a farmhouse sink here. It's great for being close to the sink and washing dishes and stuff. Um, butcher block custom cut countertop with an induction stove. You'll notice on the roof we have 600 watts of solar power. That's to power the, the stove. There's a 400 amp hour battery. Um, the fridge is a 12 volt fridge. Um, isotherm, marine grade. It actually has 12 volt or 120. Um, pretty, pretty big. I think it's 120 liters, something like that. Has a freezer too. Um, you can see the walk-through area. You can actually walk through this whole area. For work, we have a pull-down table, pretty wide. Um, what's cool about this is you can actually have it down with the bed up. Uh, most people have the, the pop-up tables that, you know, have, the bed has to be put away. If you get a little support under here, you can just have the bed made and have your table. Um, there is a, a WeBoost antenna um, for um, 5G, 4G uh, cell boosting. As you can see, this, this pops up in the middle and the bed kind of folds out here. Um, the, bed and uh, the bed is pretty interesting it's a Japanese tatami these are kind of rice mats that are pretty forgiving and a Japanese futon that's you know foldable it's basically like a 12 centimeter um, cotton mattress so that just goes across and we got more tatami on this side so it's really forgiving um, there's a bed extension here to give you more space um, I think it, it sleeps, I don't think it's the, the dimensions, but six foot, six four comfortably. Um, we have the closet here, pretty large, adjustable shelves. I'm just putting pillows in here right now. Um, same thing on the other side. A big feature was the skylight. That's a pretty big skylight. Um, you, get, you can have bug net or shaded. And we have lights here. It's also LED lights above the, the kitchen area. Um, for 120 volt outlets, you have one here. And then you have two underneath the bed, on the left and the right side of the cabinet. Um, we do have a, down here you can see there's an air heater. It's um, a Wabasto 
uh, gasoline heater. Control panels here, along with the Max Air Fan remote. We do have a 12 volt outlet here, 12 volt um, USB-C and USB type A. So you don't have to run the inverter at night to plug your phone in. You can actually also charge a laptop if you have USB-C power delivery. Um, a lot of the trim is oak and um, maple. Um, for the shower, it's in the back here. It was a custom made stainless steel shower pan that's plumbed into the gray tank underneath with um, black accents. And the shower can actually be an outdoor shower too. Coming out here. And then you have your, your teak mat. Day at the beach, shower. The top does hold a surfboard and anything else above. There's Yakima round bars that sit on top of the solar panels. So for the shower, you have the, the pipe here and then the hooks. And there's magnetic latches on the bottom. A nature type compost toilet, self-contains, basically it's a urine diverter. It's plumbed to the bottom of the van, so the fan takes away the air and the moisture. It actually slides out, I have it on a roller here, you slide it underneath if you want to put it away. If you want more storage, you keep it out. Um, I will show you the storage now. Just take this Quite a bit of storage underneath. The top to the bottom is 23 inches. Um, less than some, but I really wanted the, the space up top. Um, same thing on the other side. You can see the battery system there. Um, and I made left this open for access to be able to easily access stuff right here. Um, you'll notice there is shore power. The inverter is, I think it's uh, 2,500 watts. Could run an air conditioning unit if you had one. Um, 20 gallon water tank mounted underneath with a five gallon water heater that's plumbed into the coolant system of the van. So as you're driving, you're heating the hot water. That hot water stays warm for 24 or 36 hours, which is pretty sweet. Um, super efficient, super, you know, no propane, everything's electric. Only other fuel source is plumbed into the gas tank for the heater. Um, let's show the back. So we have the Illuminus ladder rack and tire rack combo. These steps pop down. And you can get up and wash your solar panels. Put your surfboard up here if you want. You got surfboard racks, foam racks here. The round bars sit a little bit above the solar panel, which, which allows you to do that. We also have the, the Max Trax uh, rescue boards um, mounted to, the, to this. They're pretty sturdy. Um, it is real, real drive, but I've taken it in the sand, the mud, and the snow. And I mean, these are just as a backup precaution. I did get stuck in the sand once, um, and they helped me get out pretty easily. We got the all terrain BF Goodrich tires. Um, with the pretty big, pretty big treads, that's really going to help you get out of anything. Uh, so that's the spare on the back there. And the, the rims are actually uh, Black Rhino, I forgot what model rims, but they're, they're new, they're updated. Um, that gave me a little bit more clearance. Um, here's the short power. It's a smart plug, short power. 
It's a little bit nicer than the conventional ones. It locks and latches there. And there's the water fill. All right, any questions? Just, uh, just ask and I can give you a video, uh, in-person video tour. Hey, it's me again. Just wanted to um, add some extras that we missed during the video. Um, first thing is there is a partition wall that you can enter into the cab from the back area. Um, you know, it actually has two doors, so you can just open the top or the bottom if you want. That's been that's really helpful for just you know grabbing something quick in the back um, and. I really like the partition wall because of the insulation and the sound deadening. Um, I mean, those walls are insulated, the partition wall is insulated, so that really helps a lot. Most of your heat loss is going to be for those big windows in the front. Um, and it just kind of gives you some privacy and makes it feel like a home. Obviously the one thing you lose out is like a swivel seat um, to be able to work from, but you know, I think with the, the table in the back, you could, you could seat two working comfortably. Um, uh, there is an alternator charger backup that's you know can be turned on anytime. You can even use it, you know, normally. Um, there's a, basically a, a a breaker that I just usually leave off. Generally, the system is sized to go for two full days, a lot of usage on the the stove. That's three meals on the stove, two full days without any sun, right? Which is never really going to happen. Um, and so that's the battery sizing is is big enough for that. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.